What's happening guys? I am doing a little bit something a little bit different today. There's gonna to be no food in this vlog. I'm just going to be reviewing the hotel I stayed at here in Blackpool. Um, this is the Norbrek Castle Hotel. As you can see behind me there, I'll just uh, add it to the to that. It looks like a castle. Now, I have been in and checked in already. And it's certainly not like a castle inside. <laughs> Uh, it looks a bit dated, I'll be honest. But we're going to go in and have a little wander and uh, see what it's all about. See what the room's like. I haven't been to the room yet. I have just checked in. I've got my keys. So, that's what we're going to do today. Something a little bit different. So if you like this, let me know in the comments. If you like the hotel reviews, and I'll do, I'll do a few more. Now this is, as you can see by the flag there, this hotel is part of the Britannia Group. Now, if... If I'm right about that, I think that they have things like the Grand in uh, Scarborough, this one, and obviously the, the actual Britannia hotels. However, this one has not got some good reviews. I'll bang some on the screen right now so you can show, so you can see what it is, what it's like. Let's go see if these reviews are right. It's a, a cold March day here in Blackpool. Actually, it's not quite Blackpool. It, it, it will be technically Blackpool. However, I uh, you, you guys saw me get off the coach in Blackpool by, by the tower. And um, when I put it into Google Maps, this was a few miles away. Now, I decided to walk. That was a mistake. It was hours. I would highly consider getting a tram. There is a tram stop right outside the door there. And uh, yeah, I'd consider getting a tram because I'll be getting a tram back tomorrow. <laughs> Absolutely no way that I'd be walking back. So it's not in Blackpool Centre. If you're, if you're looking to stay here, it's not quite in Blackpool Centre. So don't be fooled. Check Google Maps before you book. Unlike Dino. Right, come on, let's go inside. So the hotel has got a massive car park, however it's absolutely jam-packed today. It is a Thursday in Blackpool, and what I was thought would be quiet. So there's something going on today, isn't there? Reception area, the bar in there. We'll go take a look at that. Bar. A little lobby. Oh, right. That's a pub in there, I believe. Some little gaming area for the kids. Another little lobby here. The lift to the floors. My room is 111. Plenty of seating here. And an amusement arcade down here. Some nice blue lights, bit of gaming. Let's see what's going on here. 
Henry's here, mid clean, by the looks of it. Looks like some sofa beds, <laughs> randomly. Some really nice chandeliers in here. They're like fitting of the name Castle. Some, uh, some art in there, up there on the walls. It's not looking too bad. A little bit dated in the carpet, however, I did walk past the bar and it looks like they've redone all the carpets in the bar. So that'll be uh, probably next on their list. So amusement arcade, let's go in there. Looks like the lights are off. Oh, it's locked, must be too early. Must be too early for the amusement arcades. What else have we got in here? I don't want to go too far because I don't know where I'm going. They're just rooms on the stairs. Now, it does have a swimming pool, but I don't think it's this way. I might have to ask. Where's the swimming pool? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, okay, it's okay. You're not working, no? No. Oh, Alright, sorry, I thought because you were a you, you tag, I thought you worked here. It's, oh, they didn't give me a map when I checked in. Oh, there's a cleaner there, I'll ask her. Yeah. Cheers. Excuse me, where's the, where's the swimming pool? Right. Keep going through the sun lounge, through the white doors at the end, take a right for the next set of white doors, it's the second door on your right. Right, so... Straight through. So where the bar is? Yeah, past there, right. you'll see some white doors. Go through them, take a right for the next set of doors, and it's on your right. Perfect, thank no you. Worries. Wow, so there's a ballroom here. I don't know if I can get in here to have a look around. The door's locked. The door's are locked, let's have a look in there. A ballroom there. It's a bit early now, like. So there's a hot tub and a sauna and a swimming pool. I'm not going to film too much because there's quite a few people in there, so I wouldn't want someone filming me swimming. But yeah, it's, uh, it's looks like a decent, a decent, uh, a decent size swimming pool as well. To be fair, and I just got access here. Now I did read that I have to pay to to, to uh, I think it's two pound to go into the gym or to the the swimming pool. So I did bring my uh, shorts, my swimming shorts, not trunks. However, I'm not paying to go in. Um, maybe in the morning, but we'll see. Right, let's take you up to my room now and show you the rooms. So as you can see, that that's the new carpet out there, and this is uh, the old dead carpet. There is a lift there, but I'm going to take the stairs. <coughs> I'm only going one floor up. It's flat. I know I'm a big lad, but these stairs make a lot of noise. Let's 
So I'm one, one, one. One, 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 that's me. So as you come in, you have your bed, a little set of drawers there, they look in good nick, not chipped or battered or bruised, you've got your tea and coffee making facilities, a nice little phone there for calling reception, a little light, which are on by the way, so you've got two little switches, one's for the main light and one's for that light there, what does this light do then? That's also for the main light, so you can turn both of them off without getting out of bed, which is a good little plus. The bed, all white sheets, all white quilts. Um, does look like it's a bit crinkled there, but let's not nitpick. Let's uh, have a look for a stain, stain watch. Is there any stains? Can we see any? Oh dear. So I don't know if I picked it up on there, but it looks like there's some sort of I'm hoping that that's not blood on the stick on the on the covers. I'll get a bit of a close up there with the phone and show you that, guys. So there's just like oh, at the end of the bed. There's just a space for nothing, maybe a suitcase. There is central heating, radiator, and a window at the bottom of the bed with some what look like fairly decent blackout curtains. They're not in bad nick. There's no stains on them by the looks of it. Let's have a look at the view. Well, let's just to say what we're looking out the window, enjoy a nice cup of tea. <laughs> now, I could have paid £9 extra for our sea view, but I did not want to do that. So we've got a couple of doors here, obviously that's to the bathroom, what's this one? Oh, so there's plenty of uh, storage in there, some wardrobe space, a few cases and some, uh, what are them? So you've got one standard hanger, which comes off. And then you've got eight hangers, which not only do they not come off, you know, normally with these sort of hangers, they, this comes off so you can't, so you can take the hanger, but you don't take the, the thing that hooks onto it. This, they're actually just bolted in. So you, you can hang your clothes up, but you've got to do it in here. That's a bit strange. I've never seen that before. Well, you've got one hanger that's usable. Plenty of storage. Little television there. Let's put it on and see what we've got. And see if we can see if it works. Because that's always the the thing with the Well let's come on. More for. So it looks like it's got free view. Channel 4 plus 1 film 4. So yeah, it's like a free view television. Ooh. Uh, you've got a little mirror here, which, by the way, is absolutely filled with splattered with what looks like either makeup or blood. The mirror has not been washed, um, just just you know, <laughs> in it. So that's about it. Let's have a look at the kettle. Let's make sure, see if it's clean inside the kettle. Ooh, it looks a bit grimy that. In fact, that is absolutely disgusting. There will be no cup of tea here. It's unbelievable lime scale on that um, metal heating element. But even on the sides there, you can see all that as we get in there. Ugh. I won't be making a cup of tea, even though they do provide you with some tea, English breakfast tea, some freeze-dried coffee, milk. No, that one is not. I'll be using that right onto the bathroom then. So you've got a little bin, some towels which obviously have been cleaned and washed because they are perfectly folded and white. You've got a toilet, 
nice white toilet. To be fair, the toilet looks clean. You've got toilet roll in there and extra toilet roll there, which I'm only saving one night, so that'll be plenty. There's a sink. It's quite a big bathroom, to be fair. Vinyl floor. There is a sink. A couple of uh, Britannia Hotel soaps. It's a nice touch, I haven't used soap in years. Another little mirror. A few warnings, Do please use a non-slip mat provided. Shower curtain, slippery when wet, let's pull the shower curtain up. So you've got a, a non-slip mat, but it's not in the shower, it's obviously over the side, so when they clean it, looks like they've got some hair and body wash there, so they provide that in like a um, container. So, dual tap so you can get your perfect heat and let's have a look at the shower head looks a bit dated but it's clean there's nothing wrong with that I don't think I'm happy with that a light there is there a light what's it does this light work night light override there's a USB shaver socket in here you open that up and there we go so you've got a USB and the old style shaver so that's not too bad I don't have a shaver with me, unfortunately, I could do shaving my head. Um, if school shaver want to sponsor this channel. <laughs> so, there it is. Bathroom, bedroom. Not too bad. Alright, I'll do the bed test now. See how hard or firm this bed is. You can store stuff under the bed as well. It's not a uh, divan, it's a... It looks like it's got storage under there. Let's see what they've got in the drawers actually. Nothing in the drawers. Usually, there we go, usually you get a hairdryer. Obviously it doesn't matter to me. There's nothing in the other drawers. Right, let's go for the bed test. Firm bed. Pretty firm. A bit bouncy actually. Literally got spring, springs back. These pillows are really Big pillows. I'm just going to stay at this side of the bed for now until I've investigated of that, um, those blood stains further because I might have them changed. But oh, I'll give it a go. Let's go. It's not too bad. I'll be alright sleeping on here as long as these stains here are. Uh, I mean, the pillows are pretty hard. <laughs> but I'll let you know how my night's sleep went in the morning. Okay. Well, it wasn't the best night's sleep, I'll be honest. Um, the floor outside the room here is uh, mad squeaky and anytime anyone walks past, you can hear every footstep and every old sound and people walking about all night basically, up until about three o'clock in the morning with the convention here. Um, the pillow is the hardest pillow I've ever slept with. It just someone walking past <laughs> and I talk walls are so thin you can hear every word you can hear every step so I'm gonna give the shower a go now and I'll let you know what that's like hopefully there's some hot water fingers crossed okay so all in all I had, a, I had a decent night's sleep. The shower was warm, so that's good. Um, it was it was like a dual tap thing where you chose, you, you just put hot water and cold water. Um, no one wants to see me in the shower. <laughs> and uh, yeah, overall it was okay. Not a great night's sleep. Like I said, the um, people walking and talking outside the door was a bit of a nightmare through the night. Obviously there's the convention going on which here and it's an Alcoholics Anonymous convention. So I felt a little bit bad having a, like filming people last night in the in the in the um in the bar area that hence why you only got a little snippet of the uh, <laughs> of my my pint of Guinness because everyone else there were drinking tea and coffee and I felt a bit 
I felt a bit guilty for having a beer, to be honest. Um, but it's good for them people who were supporting each other. And I think they got all around the country because they all knew each other. There were hundreds of people. When I came to check in yesterday as well, I forgot to actually mention that, there was a queue of about 50 people. I was waiting 45 minutes to check in. But that's not the norm um, because I've been down to reception today and there's no... I mean, you can't check in until 3 p.m., which is a bit of a... A bit of a ball it really. I'd like an earlier check-in on these places, but I understand there's 400 and odd rooms in this hotel and they've got to get them all cleaned or not, as the case may be. The, uh, the stains on the stains on the bread were a bit of an off-put. So what would I give this hotel? I'm going to rate this hotel. This is the first ever hotel review I've done, so it's a little bit, and it's not a good one, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a five out of 10, right down the middle. I don't think it's the worst. I think it's got some good facilities. However, um, you have to pay extra to use them facilities. So five out of 10, the cost for this was 32 pound for a night. So it was 32 pound. Now, I just saw the um, the breakfast downstairs at um, 12 pound. If you book that online with your room, it's nine pound extra. You can get it for, you can get this double room for 41 pound for um, with breakfast included. However, this is a Thursday, it was a Thursday night last night. However, um, there's also an option to upgrade to a sea view so you don't have to look at them pipes, which is another nine pounds. So you, when you talk about getting a breakfast included, sea view, you might be looking at, you're looking at over 50 pound a night. Now for Blackpool, that's not, that's not very cheap. Usually you can go to a normal B&B because the standard of this is not that much better than a normal B&B, even a bad B&B in Blackpool. We've all been in a bad B&B in Blackpool. But it does the job, doesn't it? Especially if you're going out on the old on the on the sherbets. So it is what it is. It's it's good. There's some good facilities. I feel like on a weekend, if you're bringing your kids here, you'd be all right. You can get a family room with extra beds. I think you'd be okay because there's going to be there's something to do. There's an amusement arcade even though I couldn't get in. Um, swimming pool. There's a show on. So it's, for a little family hotel, it it probably do. It, now it is a a trek back to Blackpool. Like I said, I am going to go get on a tram back to Blackpool Centre now because today is St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to go check out and um, you, I know you guys are going to see this next week, but I'm going to go check out and go for, we're going to go get some more fish and chips and maybe a breakfast because it's, it's very early. It's only eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, so I'll go get a breakfast, go get some fish and chips, which you, you guys will see in the upcoming videos. And then, uh, I've got a few, a couple of days off where I'm going to be having a, a Guinness or two this weekend to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with my mum's side of the family being Irish. We always do that. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in tomorrow's vlog. Special. Oh, I wouldn't buy that again.